to my channel. Today I am doing a pattern review for McCall's M7433, which is a 1940s reproduction pattern. And I love the look of it. I love these pleats. Oh, here's my hand. Ah, okay. I love these pleats because they open up here and then it flares out at the bottom of the skirt, which I think is just a really adorable look. You have to excuse my uh, filming style today. I'm feeling lazy, so I'm just using my phone, and that will have to do. Somebody, I don't remember where, but somebody said, maybe it was on Instagram or something, that the original pattern didn't have these pleats in the back of the dress, only in the front of the dress, or they only had it in the back, and not. The, I don't remember. Somebody said that there is a slight change from the original pattern, which I've heard that they do that a lot with the reproduction patterns, so... I'm glad they changed it because I love the pleats and I love that it goes all the way around the skirt. I think it's really quite adorable. So, yes. Um, I've never done a collar like this before. Um, I don't know how well you can tell, but this black part is sewn under and then there's an opening here at the seam line. I just think it gives it a nice, gives it a nice look. It's different. Uh, it's pretty. I like it. When I was making the collar, I really got into the zone of sewing and I stopped looking at the directions. This was a mistake because I forgot to add the interfacing to the black fabric and then I top stitched it instead of under stitching it like I was supposed to. And anyways, long story short, I covered it all up with lace and you can't even tell that there was a problem. But the warbling was pretty, pretty ugly. So Use that interfacing. It's worth it. <gasps> I'm back. I'm making a video. So I am new to adjusting patterns to fit my body. Most of the time when they do the bust, I just measure my bust, which puts me in a size 22. And it always turns out falling off of me and looking horrible. And then I've got to take it in and put all these weird darts in to make a skirt fit. Or to make a dress fit me properly and it's really just a pain so I've decided that I need to teach myself how to modify the pattern before I start cutting and um, ruin my nice fabric that I that I got for the dress anyways so I also instead of going off of this bust measurement I took my upper bust measurement which puts me in a size 18 so that's what I made I made the, mo the mock-up is a size 18 and it actually fits pretty good I was really surprised that I didn't have to make any huge modifications to this area or to my bust area the size 18 fit really good all right guys so here's the mock-up that I made out of scrap fabric that I had lying around I just sewed one sleeve on because um, that's all I needed to do but as you can see, I cannot raise my arm. It's super uncomfortable and tight. It's no good. This area seems to fit okay. I think that at some point I will need to figure out how to modify this part of a dress to fit my best better. But for right now, I don't know. I'm okay with this. It's fine. Just need to fix the sleeve. So what I did is I modified the sleeve pattern. I brought it up under the armpit area here and then on these two pieces, this is the back and this is the front. I brought this in an inch or so so it isn't coming off of my shoulder there because I want it to be up here because I'll have better range of movement I think that um, and then under the armpit area what this is this is the back piece the green line is the original pattern and this is what I added to it right here and same with this one all right so with those modifications it worked it barely fits, and on this side, my 
um, the opening to the sleeve was just slightly too big. So it's just ever so slightly gathered on this, on the bodice piece. Yeah, not ideal. So when I make it again, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it in half. I'm gonna add some more fabric here and I'm going to shorten this because the sleeves are just a little bit too long like this on my body it's just a little bit too long but if I roll it up I really like the look of that so I'm going to take an inch off the pattern and then I won't have to roll it up when I make my next dress using this pattern which is this fabric right here I think it'll be really pretty and it's also a lighter fabric so it's going to move a little bit better Oh, and I forgot to tell you that I will be doing a sew along to this pattern with the leaf fabric. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you will get notified. And I'm hoping to have that up around Thanksgiving, maybe a little bit before then. We'll see. The pleats on the skirt, I didn't really have any issues with. That came together really nicely. I added a pocket on one side, but not on the other side because it has a side zipper. Um, no issues with the skirt. And I decided to put the bat appliques on to match my bat buttons that I was really happy to finally have an excuse to use. And yes, am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah, the, this pattern does have you make the um, hand in case. It has you do the fancy old fashioned buttonholes. Bound buttonholes. It asks you to, uh, the pattern wants you to do bound buttonholes. I just use my machine because, you know, binding three buttonholes just seemed like way too much work, especially when I had 21 bats to dry and cut out and sew onto the dress. So I just used my machine. Who's going to be inspecting my buttonholes? You're way too close if you're inspecting my buttonholes. Um, also, I didn't make this belt. I purchased it, as you can tell, right there. But the pattern does have a belt pattern that you can make if you want your belt to match your dress exactly. I did wear my dress out to the craft store and I got a lot of funny looks. Mostly funny looks, but I don't care because I love it and my bat dress makes me very happy. So, yeah. Also, my, um, this is off subject, but my coffee machine broke this morning and... I need to get footage of my dress, so I figure I'm going to take my kids out. We're going to walk to the store. I'm going to put my bat dress on. I will film it so you can see how it moves and all of that. And so I can go get some coffee because I need my coffee. I haven't had my morning cappuccino, and I'm feeling it. So that is the plan for what I'm going to do. Um, I'll also do a close-up of it on the mannequin, and I will turn it inside out and show you what the inside looks like. And yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and the bell button if you want to see more of my content. And I hope you have a wonderful day.